Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about that uh, portfolio and program. So last few days we talk about this pro project. This is the uh, port portal enhancement project. We are about to complete all our agile tasks. We are about to complete all our waterfall model. And if you see, pretty much we have a complete few of our tasks, uh, which is I can see so far it is completed this part we we'll close today all these project tasks today also but before we jump to that uh, conclusion uh, we'll also need to be talked about that uh, portfolio and the program so let's get started So uh, if you see my slide, what we are talking here, the portfolio and program portfolio of create a portfolio to manage related program project and demand. So portfolio is the to manage that related programs, projects and demand. What is a program? A program helps you to logically group related to projects and demand. Basically, if you see in the top in the diagram, this is the service node diagram, what it is saying that the portfolio is in top. So let's say in your organization, you are the development or digital team. So this is your portfolio. And in this portfolio, there is every year many programs going on. One is the enhancement program. One is the uh, defect fixing program. There are many programs. So these are all are, you can say this is all of the program. So this is your project. Uh, this is uh, So this is your portfolio, which is you own the portfolio manager. So this is called the digital marketing is your portfolio. And inside the digital marketing, every year, many programs growing on. One is the enhancement. One is the uh, defect fixing. And that could be that um, mm, reusability component. So these are the program. So program is nothing but the logical, uh, logical groups of related demand. So inside the program, we have a demand and we have a project. So which is uh, whenever you complete your project, it definitely reflect your uh, portfolio that the portfolio is growing up. Uh, whenever your once your program, I mean, whenever all your projects or demand is closed, automatically your program will be automatically closed. So in a in a uh, year, there may might be many program and the program will be closed in simultaneously. The portfolio will be on the program project and demand. Okay, so let's go to our uh, service and I'll show you that. So if you see here in this our project called portal enhancement, we basically selected the portfolio called digital business transformation. So what is that? So this is one of the portfolio which is uh, holding that all the digital transformation for the timing. And if you open that portfolio, there will be many demand, many projects. And inside the portfolio also could have program. So you can see these are all the demands which is running inside this portfolio. These are the project which is running inside this portfolio and there is no uh, right now program but logically it should have some program. So portfolio will create some program and inside the program there will be projects. And all that is issue, cost plan, uh, everything will be shown here. And as a portfolio manager, I can see my POMO dashboard. Uh, so we can click here and this will show you that portfolio uh, I mean PMO dashboard now you can see in the PMO dashboard you can see that graphical or the it's a report which can show you that how many active project is going on um, what is the uh, plan um, plan beneficiary everything you can see in this dashboard even you can go to the pipeline to see that uh, what project is on which pipeline you can see here so all those stuff as a project, uh, I mean portfolio manager, you can see everything. Okay. So let's now talk about that. What is a program? One why? Uh, I mean, as I said that if you see in the document, the portfolio is own. Uh, the portfolio is I mean, program is logically group related demand. So if you have multiple demands, we relate. I mean, logically relate to a program. Although there is no, uh, I I have selected that uh, wrong program. But if you go back to the program. Program have similar kind of demand. Each program can have demand. So if you are running a program called um, one of the camping or, or the enhancement camping program you are running, they have static phase. They have create. They have to have multiple tasks. So this is my program, and you can see each program can have multiple uh, um, tasks, and the program can also have the demand, uh, the projects. Okay, program will hold the demand and project. Whenever all the demand, all the uh, uh, project tasks will be closed, 
uh, all the program tasks will be closed automatically this program will be closed so you can see the program has the phases the percentage of completion financial part and the uh, program manager and program contains a portfolio i mean the program you need to be put the portfolio inside the program okay so whenever i mean the program can be closed but definitely portfolio never will be closed portfolio is a bigger picture in your system so that's it for this program and portfolio i'll today what i'll do i'll close all these tasks which is uh, maybe um, these are the task is pending i'll simply close this task and then i'll show you that how it looks like that so now one more thing i just want to highlight here that if, if this is the csi program which we are running right we are running so this program the portfolio enhancement is running under this program called csi and if you go back to the csi these are the project uh, this is the uh, project i mean program task which is created manually this is the demand we have created under the csi and if you hover of the stages you can see that it's work in progress project is right now work in progress once your project will be closed the program percentage will be enhanced so let's see so this is our project here so you can see right now the project workbench so far we have completed this one and then we'll close all these our testing phase and then our production movement will close that and uh, if you see that analysis part i want to show you that how the analysis will looks like before i want to close that so this is right now if you go back to the analysis say uh, although i said that the phase are not working in the project right now but uh, project completion is the 58 percent and the time elapsed is 20 uh, 26 percent so right now this is how it looks like that we'll close all our tasks and then i'll show you that i mean in the project task i will show you that how it looks like i'll go quickly go to the project right now and close everything So right now you can see all these tasks I have close complete and the project percentage is the hundred percent you can see this is the complete project which is done everything now we'll simply go back to our um, um, project workbench and see how it looks like I just want to show quickly now you can deallocate the resource if you don't need the alloc um, I mean if you don't need the resource anymore you can just deallocate all allocate those now if we click here the project workbench we should be definitely see the status of this our project so i'll quickly go to the i mean you can see everything is completed right now if i go to the analysis right now percentage of the project is completed 100 percent right now and the time elapsed is 100 percent everything is showing right now now if you go back to your program and you can see this is your program and inside the program previously the project it was showing the project in in progress right now it is saying that right now it is saying that the project is completed okay so right now it means that the, this program the project is completed now you can complete your uh, program because your program is completed right your pro a project is completed so our program task was that project status will simply uh, complete this uh, project i mean program task from here i'll go and complete this program task once we completed the pro program task you can see the plan start date plan end date everything is completed here now normally it should have complete this state but it is not working so i mean it is not uh, uh, showing as completed you can manually go and complete this program which means that your program is also completed once you complete it it means that your program is completely done okay and now this is your um portfolio inside the portfolio there was no definitely program but uh i mean it could have effect if it, it is inside have some program okay so that's it for uh this project and this program this portfolio demand and um, all these tasks now i just want to show one more quick thing that if you go back to here type the project here there are two more things uh inside that one is the investment uh, plan if you click here investment portal you can see these are the um, um i mean these are the portfolio which is the currently showing okay and here you can see the how many demands itself in this portfolio how many project it have inside this portfolio what is the cost each and everything you can see and once you click this one of this um portfolio you will be able to see that uh, total all these projects, all these demands, everything you can see here.
Also, you can click, if you see in the top, there is a one more thing called project uh, um, workspace. If you click the project workspace, all the project which is uh, basically pro, uh, you are that, I mean that, you are the, I mean the, you can see this is the filter. All the project will be available here and you can see the details, I mean status, uh, the phases, the percentage, everything you can see in the top. And even you can create the project on right side of the, of the top. So that's it for today. I, I hope you guys like my video. Uh, this is the complete series of this, um, your uh, PPM module. Um, if you have any question, please let me know in my comment section. Please like, share and subscribe and share with your community. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day.